Hey, how's it going? We are in Mark chapter 3, verses 7 through 19. Mark 3, 7 through 19. Jesus withdrew with his disciples to the lake, and a large crowd from Galilee followed. When they heard all that he was doing, many people came to him from Judea, Jerusalem, Idumea, and the regions across the Jordan and around Tyre and Sidon. Because of the crowd, he told his disciples to have a small boat ready for him to keep the people from crowding him. For he had healed many so that those with diseases were pushing forward to touch him. Whenever the, whenever the evil spirits saw him, they fell down before him and cried out, You are the Son of God. But he gave them strict orders not to tell who he was. Jesus went up on a mountainside and called to him those he wanted, and they came to him. He appointed twelve, designating them apostles, that they might be with him, and that he might send them out to preach and to have authority to drive out demons. These are the twelve he appointed, Simon, to whom he gave the name Peter, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John. To them he gave the name Boanerges, which means sons of thunder, Andrew, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, son of Altheus, Thaddeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. So we see... Again, there's these crowds of people that are coming for healing uh, to Jesus. They're wanting to receive of his ministry and just uh, evil spirits are being uh, driven out and they're proclaiming who Jesus is, but he is telling them not to say anything. So really some amazing stuff. Jesus caused quite a stir. And then as there's all these people following Jesus and all these disciples, um, you know, to where he's got to get out on a boat, all these people want to learn from him. Um, Mark mentions here the calling of the 12. So the, Jesus uh, appointed 12 apostles. So he, Jesus goes up on a mountainside and he prays and he uh, appoints the 12 and there's a listing of the 12 here and so he has kind of an inner circle that he appoints Jesus picked them this is pretty early on you know I'm not exactly sure but uh, Jesus is going to teach them extra things while he is on earth before the crucifixion he's going to teach them extra things he's going to explain things that he doesn't explain to everybody else uh, and he's going to spend a lot of time with them. So probably, you know, in that three-year range, two and a half to three years, I'm guessing, uh, is the amount of time that Jesus spends with the 12 apostles. And that's a really fantastic thing. He also spent time with the masses, but he spent a lot more time with the 12. And this was Jesus' strategy for exponential growth. He knew his time was short. So instead of drawing huge crowds and calling her good, he, he does draw the huge crowds, but he teaches the 12 specifically uh, all the things they would need to carry on the ministry after he's gone. And they, you know, they were learning all of this the whole way. They didn't really know what was going on. Um, but it's interesting that Jesus didn't make himself available to absolutely everyone all the time. He spent lots of time with the 12, and then with three of them, he spent even extra time with. So uh, that was his strategy, not to be available to everyone, but to be available to a few. So as we pray, uh, I would think all of us can do this. Let's pray to have uh, find a few people that we can have a large impact on. I think family members, that's pretty clear. If you're a parent, you're talking about your kids, you want to have a large impact on them. You've got other people that are close. You know, maybe you're leading a small group or things like this. You know, you just take a few people and think, I'm going to do what I can to make an impact on them. That's what Jesus did with the 12. And that's what we can do in this life as well. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for 
uh, your goodness. Thank you, Lord, for the things you teach us in the scriptures. And thank you for the way that Jesus demonstrates how to walk with you. And as Jesus picked the 12, Lord, he prayed, sought you, Heavenly Father, to understand who he should choose. And then those 12 were chosen, thus showing that Jesus um, spent extra time with them that he didn't with others, really focused on ministering to them and helping them grow. Lord, help us to look for a few. If it's, you know, two or three or four or 10 or 12, Lord, help us to see those that we can have a special impact on, have a special relationship with, and try to encourage and strengthen in their faith. So help us to see those individuals and make a commitment to help them. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.